Good morning everyone. It's another glorious sunny Wednesday morning here in the coast of Ireland. The hot weather is continuing and no sign of it letting up just yet anyway. They're talk, talking about it lasting for the next two to three weeks. Oh God help us all if that happens. I'm uh, over topping our reseeding. Uh, why am I topping the reseeding, you probably ask. Uh, because we have an infestation of weeds in it, that's why. Um, normally, we uh, we just spray the reseeding, there'd be no, no need for topping it. We'd spray it and the weeds would die off and it allowed the grass to flourish underneath. But uh, the word flourish could not be used here on this reseeding at the minute. As you can see, it is quite patchy in certain areas of the field and uh, the lack of moisture since it was sown is causing some uh, big issues for us. Uh, this is sown now about, what is it sown, six, seven weeks um, and really in that time we've had, or it has had no rain. Uh, the, it, might, it might have rained one night on it or something like that, but really very, very little. Uh, and it is causing issues now in certain parts of the field. Um, yeah, usually, as I say, we'd spray the weeds, but we're actually afraid to spray the weeds because uh, if we spray the weeds, it may not. The spray may knock back the grass that's already there and we do not do not want to do that. So uh, what we're doing is there's two different types of weeds in this. There is uh, some chickweed but the rest of the field is covered in this fat hen it's called. And by topping that uh, and taking the, the head and the seed off it, the sun will whizzen that out, dry it up and it will disappear away on its, of its own accord. Um, and we can still spray a little bit later on, whenever the rain does come, if it ever comes, we can spray a little bit later on and uh, still still kill whatever weeds is in it. But this is just the easiest way at the minute to, to get rid of what weeds is there. Um, yeah, well, there is going to be parts of the field that's going to be in trouble for for, for the grass now because uh, like the, this, uh, especially here on the left hand side it is very very sparse the amount of the grass on the ground so I'd say look we'll wait we're not going to do anything too hasty anyway because there's no point at the minute but we're going to have to going to have to get a little bit of seed grass seed drilled in and later on once it does start to rain uh, we let it rain on it for a bit and see how it how it recovers. I know the grass will tiller out, but I think it's just in certain parts of the field it's going to have a little too much to do. So it's not going to be that big of an issue to to direct drill some some grass seed into it, but it's just the hassle of having to do it. Yeah, but look at it, it's just the yield that's in it. Uh, like everything, if <laughs> no matter what plant it is whether it's grass or cereals or anything else, if you don't get the moisture at the right time when the crop needs it, it is going to struggle to grow. So that's really just what's happened here. Uh, down this end of the field here, like it's a perfect example. This is, a, this is the damp end of the field. There is a thick, thick coating of grass all down here. It's only up the top side where uh, it would be much drier that uh, the issue is. So. Yes, that's just, just as I say, it's just the year that's in it and how it worked out. Like all things, you can be lucky or unlucky, and definitely we've been unlucky with the reseeding this year. But everyone, I suppose, is in the same boat that, that reseeded around that time. Um, yeah, I'm using the 6420S today for the topping, uh, or on the topper, should I say, and they're all Abbey topper. Um, but I'll when I'm finished, I haven't very much left to do. I've only got a little bit of a strip here left and a bit around the headlands. And when I've that done, I'll do a little bit of a walk around on the topper and show you the topper. It needs a little bit of work done to it. 
and uh, yeah, so I'll show you, show you in a minute now when I when I'm finished. So we're finished, a bit of topping, and yeah, it actually tidied the field off fairly well. Um, it'll do it a little bit later on, and we can get it sprayed later once the rain eventually does come. So we can't really do much more until the rain comes. Uh, we'll also see then uh, how the grass recovers once the rain does come and if it will recover. And we can take a plan of action then after that uh, and sort out the, any patchy bits that's left. But yes, that's that's a problem for another day. Our topo, uh, it's an Abbey seven foot mounted topo. We purchased it new in 1999. And soon after we purchased it, within the first couple of years, uh, we started getting some rusting here on this top uh, panel. Uh, that, that it's just welded. It, all it's just welded onto the main frame in a few places. It's kind of tacked along it, and it started rusting in between the in between the tacks, the the welds. So, uh, yeah, look at the acid from the grass. Uh, there'd be some fresh. Uh, Manure would be would end up maybe getting sprayed up on it, and one <laughs> between the whole lot, uh, it it started to rust anyway, and slowly ended up then in the place where it is today, uh, with a part of the panel falling off the last time I used it a few weeks ago. Um, the other side is actually the same. There's a whole section there is ready to to collapse off it as well. So it's kind of prompting us into doing something with it. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're going to get a couple of panels made up for it, get them welded onto it, and we're going to do something with the whole machine. We're going to send it and get it maybe shot blasted and get a coat of paint on it, fresh coat of paint, because it is in great condition, and it'd be a shame, great condition mechanically, not the frame, obviously it doesn't look much at the minute, but mechanically it is in very good condition, and uh, there's plenty of years worth of work left in it. Uh, like, you could go out and purchase a new machine but if you spend a few hundred on it here and there and get it a spend if you spend five hundred on it you'd be well on the way to, to getting it all all uh, refurbed so um and like I said there's plenty of years work left in it. It'll it'll do what we need to do topping wise. Um so yeah so that's that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.